As someone who used to be 320 pounds, here are five things I thought were good for weight loss that actually made me plateau and gain weight. Number one, lots of meat. I thought that only eating meat was the answer to weight loss. It's gonna solve all my problems. I could just eat meat all day. That's disgusting, in my opinion, and gross. Uh, second of all, put on a lot of weight for me. Also, vegetables are bomb. I don't know why other people lie to me. They're so good. I literally thought they were the enemy, but they're not. Plants aren't gonna kill you guys. In fact, they're gonna help you live longer. Just check out the meta-analysis. Don't even, don't even listen to me. Just go find your own research for it. But you did lose weight in the beginning when you ate only meat. I lost weight doing keto for about two weeks and then I gained it all back and more. Yeah, but you did have a weight loss initially, but you felt gross. You didn't like the way it smelled and felt and... It smelled so gross. I mean, don't you guys get tired of eating bacon after like a few weeks? With ham like and eggs, like the greasiness was really gross. I think a lot of people like it. My skin got so oily and my, my face started breaking. Don't forget the carnivore diet is trending. Like people are going to be like, you know, yes, I love the way it If tastes. you think carnivore is great and you are going to never believe anything else, then you should probably stop watching this video. <laughs> but no, it really didn't work for us. And that doesn't mean it doesn't work for everybody, but it didn't really work for us. No. Number two is coffee. Now, I know that coffee can be considered a weight loss strategy, but I know too many women, I would say eight out of 10 women that we speak to are drinking coffee until 2 p.m. or cafe lattes or frappuccinos or other forms of coffee. So when I say coffee, I don't mean coffee in and of itself as a weight gaining strategy per se, but what is a metabolic implications, meaning you're starving yourself and you're only drinking coffee, you're gonna hurt yourself long-term. You're gonna cause problems in your endocrine system, your hormones, and we talked to you a lot more about this in our program, but the strategy of drinking coffee until 2 p.m. and then eating a huge meal and then throwing your cycles off to harm yourself more than yourself. So coffee can be something that you do that can actually harm you as opposed to help you over time. Number three is protein powder. Now, I know that you guys think protein powder has answered everything. I thought the same thing. I said, oh my gosh, I'll bow down to protein powder. It's the best weight loss food ever. I'm going to put it in everything. Um, really bad idea, especially if you're not using the right kinds of protein powder. I don't really count calories, but some of the protein powders I was eating had so many calories in it for one scoop and I didn't know that the ingredients were maybe cane sugar or whey, which some people think is great, but the quality of these protein powders can be really bad and they can have a lot of additives, gums, uh, fillers, and so many processed ingredients that actually make you gain weight instead of lose or make you plateau instead of lose. I didn't know that. And so I got really educated with my mom actually about the kinds of protein powders you want to be drinking to lose weight and that you don't need that much. You may think you need a scoop, but you can actually use half a scoop and still feel satisfied. And you can add vegetables to the smoothies and all the things like that. So I kind of got into a too much of a protein powder mindset and what really helped me was just taking less of it and getting educated about what kinds of protein powders I should be consuming. Number four, whole grains. A lot of people feel like eating whole grains is beneficial on your weight loss journey. And then there's a whole other category of people who think that grains are going to be the end of you. There's this book called The Grain Brain, which I recommend everyone read. There are all kinds of ideas about grains and how they're full of carbohydrates and how carbohydrates are the enemy. And so whole grains can both be helpful and they can also be harmful. I found that on my weight loss journey and also on Penelope's weight loss journey, as well as many clients over the years, that eating the right kinds of grains in the right amount do help with weight loss. But if you just think that quinoa is a weight loss grain and you're eating cups and cups and cups of it, you probably won't be getting those weight loss goals that you really, really want and that you're working so hard for. So there are certain ways to eat grains and certain breads that we can teach you how to make and ways to make grains not put the weight on you, but just know that too much of a good thing can also be harmful. Number five is heavy weightlifting. Now, I know that you guys might be like, what do you mean? Weightlifting is great. I've been told by everyone in the community it's gonna help me lose weight. It will. But some people's constitutions aren't built for super, super heavy lifting. I actually had a personal trainer I was working with for some time and I wanted to lift really, really heavy and she said, why? Why do you want to lift so heavy? You don't need to. Your body's already built like a weightlifter's body and so for your body type, you just need to be doing cardio and lightweights and that's really all you need to be doing. And I really wanted to start beating men and competing and like lifting heavier and heavier every week and I put on lots of muscle and fat because I was eating too much. I wasn't burning as much as I was eating but I thought by eating more, I'd get thinner and thicker, but that's not the case for everyone's constitution. So you have to be really careful when you're weightlifting, how frequently you're doing it, how much, how much you're lifting. Also, it affects the scale. Like there would be weeks I'd gain weight, even though I was in a calorie deficit, but I was lifting too heavy and I was putting on more muscle, even though I was losing weight, I looked really overweight because I was still overweight. So you have to be really careful. And something I personally have experienced is that doing more cardio and just way more cardio and getting 10,000 steps a day is way more beneficial than any kind of weightlifting could be for my body. Not that I don't do 
do weight training or lifting, I do, but I am not in the gym doing it. I'm doing it at home with my own little weights and doing my own versions, and for my constitution, my body fat works very well, so to each their own, but heavy lifting is not something I'd recommend if you're really, really overweight, especially if you don't have a trainer, because you could really injure yourself, and I have injured myself before many yeah. times. Yeah, and you need muscle. I mean, muscle burns fat, and so as you're losing weight, you will lose lean muscle mass anyway, so it's important to be building that muscle, and, and how quickly you do it, and what kinds of things you do to build it definitely differ. And don't be confused. You can build great lean muscle without lifting heavy weights. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We would love to know the thing that you thought was going to help you to lose weight that actually made you gain weight. Comment below. We'd love to hear your stories and get to know you better. We're looking for 12 women who are ready to lose the weight once and for all using a holistic model that's about food and fitness and mindset. So if you're interested, click the link in the description below and we'd love for you to like, share, and subscribe.